This video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Hello again, it's episode 4 time of Peacemaker. Now I don't know what this video looks like, actually that's a lie, it's probably rectangular, has a like a dislike button underneath, I, I know what it looks like. What I don't know about this video is I don't know if this part right here is at the start of the video or at the end of the last one or it's the end of the most recent one i'm going to exclude all the things i say like if you're new to my channel blah 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 because i don't know when this when i'm saying this is going to take place just bloody chuck a big like on it or something because i don't know when i'm going to be saying this in the video all i do know is that i have this chocolate stampede dairy snack because i am a five-year-old child so let's watch episode four and then the rest of them Mm. Motherfucker cut half my pinky toe off. It's the most important toe there is. You can't walk without it. You can walk just fine without a pinky. Is that true? I don't think it is the most important toe. What is the most important toe on a human being? Yeah, your big toe. That's what I thought. You misspelt road. So I think considering the world is under threat from butterflies, you guys should go and get one of those like little kid like insect capture toys that we all had when we were a child. I think that might be very beneficial to stopping these bad insects. I made a vow to have peace at any cost, but I'm not fucking killing kids just because you say so. But that goes against your entire thing you literally just said. There's Lanny's a bit, uh, butterflies? Like alien bugs that crawl up in the human brains and control people? Great question. How are the butterflies getting into people? They're entering through their mouth or? while they sleep or something because i don't see how a butterfly could enter you like that i've never shot at anyone i'm a pescatarian i don't know what that star sign is i do eat fish pescatarians we don't eat pork i don't beef. give a shit oh my god i thought you meant a star sign Oh my god! Do I look like an astrology girl to you? No, I'm a material girl! I forgot what this girl's name is. Brooke? Can I just call her Tasty? Because that's that's how I know her. Stomped his ass. You're very proud of yourself, aren't you? I would be too if I took down an action figure from Wish. Also, I realized what the little judo master guy looks like, right? It wasn't uh, the guy from Kick-Ass, it's Drake Bell from Superhero Movie. <laughs> the little green fly guy. I've never had a friend quite like you. It just seems like under the surface you're kind of angry about it. I'm not. Seems like you are. I'm sensing some form of tension between you two. Would it have to do with the half cut off toe? Your dad is a racist whack job. Oh yeah? Your dad left your mom for another dude. But at least his dad isn't a racist. Is the old man going to be here again? <laughs> Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> he's at the bushes again. You sure he's not glitched and he's in Westview or something? Oh. Fuck. Fuck. They have no idea how the gorilla, gorilla stolen went. from Evergreen Zoo. Why is that important? Why am I analyzing that? A TV in the background. Surely that's not important. <laughs> Imagine you're a guest at this house and you go to try and find the bathroom and you end up walking into this place. Oh, that's alright, I'll just use one of Peacemaker's helmets to just... in. What have you seen? What the fuck is that? That looks like something out of Power Rangers. There are gaffs in the armor. What? What? Your dad's white dragon costume, right? Dude. How is it so big in this place? It's a quantum unfolding storage area. Your dad's pretty brainy for a racist to make a place like this. I love that his dad has such a complex brain he's able to make a quantum space fucking garage, but he can't understand why hating different races is wrong. I said it. Batman has a coterie of super oh. villains. Dude. You said you were a superhero like Batman. Do you have a coterie of super villains? Yeah. You're one of them, you old fuck. Maybe you're not a superhero after all. Hey, John Cena, you can't lay out this old man. Still fighting out of the corner oh. now at Cena. Oh. Oh. Batman doesn't kill people. Real me this. How many people you think Batman's indirectly murdered by being too much of a candy ass not to kill these fools who clearly need to be smoked once and for all, you... Just trying to make conversation. <laughs> okay, I'll... <laughs> Okay, old man. You're definitely a supervillain. I can't wait for HBO Max to green light a spin off on the old next door neighbor. My dad's in jail, I'm going to see him. I don't think that's wise. Oh, yeah, well, fuck you, man. I didn't really trust Mern at the beginning. I'm learning to trust him more. I don't know. His character seems off. I like him, though. He just said ice 
cream. Toes aren't that important. Yeah, you were being weird about that. Yeah, I was. Who's Vigilante talking to? It's just him in the car. You know I have to make a John Cena who's invisible, you can't see him joke at some point. I'm not gonna kill my dad. Why not? You and your dad, Peacemaker, have a very rough relationship. I would kill him. Especially given how he treated you in like the first or second episode. That was rough. Your lack of a resume made me hesitant to bring you onto this team. Prove her right. What? She applied for the job and got it? Can you imagine you're in an employment agency or something, right? Some people just apply any job they can so they can meet the criteria of their like employment requirements. Can you imagine you just apply at McDonald's, cafes, fucking newspaper rounds, dog walkers, and you apply for this like d undisclosed one and then you get it, you rock up and it's like, yeah, you're going to be helping our superhero take down fucking butterflies on a minimum wage. He's a white supremacist who used to dress up as a supervillain called the White Dragon. Oh, was that his suit in there? That's fucked up, okay? Yeah, okay, that's making so much more sense as to why it looked like that. Your dad is not a good man especially not to you that's a fair point because realistically some people shouldn't be parents and that is a terrible thing to say but they're just not they're just not suitable for it taking your vigilante no why are you limping snowboarding accident totally unrelated in any way to vigilante show me your toe go on take your shoe off let me even get a sniff what Except the vigilante's voice sounds like mine, according to you. Hey dude, not aware, but even your mannerisms, your movements, very much like vigilante. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck out of here. Man, I ain't got no... You got a visitor. Peacemaker's dad be like, Is it an African-American? Because then I'm not going out to say it. Fucking racist piece of shit. I saw you come out of your mother's cooch. I should have slit your throat then and there. See what I mean? Fuck this dude. You should just kill him, man. I know he's your dad, but fuck me, dude. No, oh, dad, maybe I'm a grower, not a shower. What? I don't mean like a dick. I was gonna say, you're definitely not a grower downstairs. You take up majority of my screen whenever, whenever you're on. You're comparing yourself to a chode. Not in a bad way. Well, I came from a dickhead, so it makes sense. You don't like illegal aliens. These are real illegal aliens. This is bigger than me. It's bigger than you. And it's bigger than my dick. Get the fuck out of my sight. As I said, some parents don't deserve to have the title of parent. Now Chris, he has a big heart, so he wants to find something to love there, but there, there is nothing. Uh, you just gotta say, he may have a big heart, but it's countered by his small brain. I don't think Chris is ever gonna be happy as long as his father's around. I wish there was some way he would just go away. I'd be careful. That vigilante will kill the dad i gotta go do something yeah yeah <laughs> you shouldn't have said that i'm a chode not the good kind is, is there a bad kind of chode why why am i asking myself that as well turn around dude <laughs> are no corrections officers gonna ask him what he's doing with the fucking bin Oh, now we're gonna act on it once he tries to smash the window. You picky toes aren't that important. You don't need it to walk or anything, but I've sustained an injury and it hurts. Oh, he wasn't trying to break in. He was trying to get arrested to get put in there with him. For some reason, I thought he was gonna throw the bin through the window and then try and run in. Oh, fuck. Oh! Who the fuck do you think? Judo man! He, he's eating Cheetos again. Dude, why do you love Cheetos so much? <laughs> Wasn't a very solid desk from Ikea, was it? Damn! I would have done that, landed, broke my leg and fucking splattered my face. Couldn't have done that much damage to my face though. Rematch, motherfucker! Yeah! It's Drake Bell! <laughs> Damn, now that I brought it up, I really can't get that superhero Drake Bell out of my head. Fuck you! They're not what you think they are. <laughs> oh! Oh shit! Who's gonna win that fight? <laughs> you didn't even let him finish what he was gonna say. Oh geez, you're welcome. If you've ever watched Scream, you need to double tap him. Double tap that guy. Oh, you still have it. He's still breathing. Their heart stops beating. They just concentrate and move a kidney up into its place. How the fuck? He's still breathing. Hey, what do you think he's about to say? The butterflies are not what you think. They're... Not insects. 
I don't know. I think the obvious thing that was going to be said was they're not the bad guys. I forgot that was honey for a second. I honestly thought that was really bright diarrhea. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Eagly! Eagly, hey, hey. That's not lunch. That's dinner. Hey, no. No, no. Peck, peck, motherfucker. Boom. Then it gets easier. No, not really. Otherwise you become like Amanda Waller and you start treating human life like it's nothing. Y'all don't say that about my mom. <laughs> Killing Peacemaker's father and now this. Back up, what? Oh, that's a slip up. Every time I turn around, one of you is doing something fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, they are. I like men. I've decided I like his character. Fuck you. Why is everybody fucking you to me? Why are they saying these things to you? Maybe you're fuckable. Uh... I regret that. Can you get Vigilante out of the system before he screws us worse than we already screwed? I don't even know this guy's name. Vigil, first name. Lanty, last name. Pinky is his middle name. Wasn't he our busboy at Fennel Fields? Yeah, that's gotta be weird. That's the dude that gave me the salad bowl. And the flat coke. Hey, what's up, fellas? Oh, God. We should get to know each other. Adrian, you're about to get chased. <laughs> To be perfectly honest, I think you're about to get fucked. Let's each say something that we're grateful for that black people have contributed to American culture. <laughs> I'm grateful that black people gave us rock and roll music. For me, rap. Tupac, Biggie Smalls, absolutely brilliant musicians, and their music is incredible. There you go, that's mine. Um, racist piece of shit, your turn. Who the fuck are you? Vigil Pinky Lanty. Your favorite contribution to black American culture was all the black guys who fucked your mom in the ass while you watched from the closet jerking off. <laughs> I'm just the guy who's gonna fuck you so hard your asshole's gonna be dragging behind you like a tail. That's how we got furries, correct? Peacemaker's looking for another fucking wild woman with a mullet. What's it say in my file about what my dad did when I was a kid? It says that he trained you to kill from when you were very young, and it says that your brother died under mysterious circumstances, and that you were involved in that. That's it. No, your tits look stellar in that shirt. I'm saying that as a compliment. That's not in a sexist way. Hate to correct you, tree trunk boy, but... That's not a shirt, that is a singlet. Yeah, James Gunn secured the bag, didn't he? If I was a supervillain, I would allow Harcourt to step on my throat. Politely. <laughs> Smoking peace and drinking piss. That's why he's called... <laughs> That's why he's called Peacemaker. I like you, man. You're a good character. Sorry that I judged you so quickly. How was he uglier when he was younger? I'm assuming that's Peacemaker. Yeah, you're definitely getting Father of the Year award. Peacemaker. Fuck you. Fuck you. You didn't have to do that. What? What is happening? Oh my god, who is that? It's his brother? Oh, that's a lot to unpack. That is almost too much to unpack. Glan Thai Bottling Company. The butterflies are going through liquid. I think I found something. Great. I'll be right over. What? Is he a butterfly? <gasps> I trusted you! I mean, if you have a long tongue like that, you can't tickle your butthole if it's a bit itchy. Okay. I knew it was a bad idea to trust men. Jesus. I have a feeling the butterflies aren't as bad as they're being made out to be, though. I don't know. I feel like Judo Master was telling the truth before he got his heart broken. A duck in a human costume? The sizes are completely incompatible. It wouldn't fucking work. How would they do the mask with the beak? <laughs> yeah, they, these have to be outtakes. That's the stupidest idea you've ever fucking had. And it's offensive to me. <laughs> they always get me. <laughs> they always get me. Watch as it turns out the major villain in this series is a duck wearing a human costume. On to episode Cinque. Making some eggs, nice. A lot of women who are John Cena fans wouldn't like their eggs like that. They would probably prefer fertilized. Oh, that made me want to gag. Oh. I'm in love with a butterfly and an eagle. What is wrong with me? I love animals way more than I love other people. That squirrel must have thought there was a trampoline on the ground or something. You can have it though. He wants you to eat it! He knows you're sad! Love you, 
you too, buddy. I love you too, as well. I, do you know I exist? Because I love you as well, bird. Hey, are you avoiding my call? I forgot you had a wife. <laughs> I Is her character important in this show? I don't think so. Mom. 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 Mummy. Mom. Mum. Hey, Mum, I'm going to put the Peacemaker diary at the... At his house. Mom. Mom. We found the creatures in a handful of high-profile politicians, celebrities, and titans of industry. Where they're then in control of the body. They go through the butt? Oh my god, they go through your butthole. The butt is an orifice, okay? Superman's an alien. He's got a poop fetish. What? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Stop lying about other superheroes. Where do you get this nonsense? Google. They interact with the host bodies, giving them strength far beyond that of a human being. I thought that man and the chimp were friends. I was thinking they were about to go on an adventure together. <laughs> That's me! Why would you include a picture of a chimp and a human if they aren't hanging out together? That's kind of rude. <laughs> you fucking suck at PowerPoint! This is a pretty serious topic and you're putting like explosions and fucking green screen memes and shit on there. Why'd you put them there, you fat I couldn't think of anybody else. What about Ariana Grande or- No! Not Ariana Grande! She's a beautiful soul! Payne Stewart or Doug the Pug, Fran Tarkenton, Joe Montana, Eugene Levy? Are we just naming people because we can? Because Barack Obama! Danny DeVito, Will Ferrell! Joe Biden! Alice Cooper! Michael Jackson! Sharon Osbourne! Bill Cosby, he just got out, he's got time on his hands! Fucking John C. Riley then! Amy Winehouse! Dude, Amy Winehouse is fucking dead! Amy Wine a lot more like it! Fucking cunts from Riverdale! Okay, the people from Riverdale deserve to go to jail. So, I don't want to see her overnight because there's no cable. Fargo's on tonight. <laughs> uh, have you got a television connection? Because I can't miss my 6pm news. Every time this intro starts, I get worried because John Cena doesn't move for a second and I think my computer's frozen. It's just him standing there like this. Like a sleep paralysis demon. I didn't kill that girl. How incredibly fucking clever. What should I call you, Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> I think testicle face is way better. The opposite to taser face. This dude is testicle face. Scrotum pupils? That's another good one. Testicle nostrils? I don't think that works. I don't think he considered it a compliment that you called him Prince Charming because his penis was shaped like a scepter. I thought it was because he was attractive like the character from Shrek. I didn't go through puberty until my mid-twenties. I mean, I didn't care. Fuck, me and Vigilante are way more relatable than I would like to admit. It's a locker room, dude. What am I gonna do? Look at a towel? So you just stare at each other's dicks and come up with names for them. That is a very boy thing to do. We will look at each other's dicks. Uh, uh I have a good one for that. Bruce Springbean. <laughs> what happened to the good old days where you could just non-stop fuck with somebody without them claiming to be a victim? Johnny knocks on a vagina <laughs> I do like your people's noodles. You got that. Your people's noodles. You are so unconsciously racist, it's unbelievable. Alright, that's enough. Not a fan of the Swedish metal there, eh? Not especially, no. Chuck some um, Mongolian throat singing on. That's gonna elevate the mood immensely. <laughs> We could do some pop metal. Poison? Men? Is their preferred pronoun is long live rock. <laughs> I believed pronoun is long live rock. I love it. Lift Street Kids? No, it says 11th Street Kids. I read that as Lift Street Kids as well. I was like, maybe this guy shouldn't be on the team if he's picking up kids from the streets. You gotta deactivate butterfly mode, man. I swear to God, if they don't have like a joke to do with the butterfly effect being a thing in this series, I'm gonna be upset. Come far away from the jungles of Naya, sir. Oh, I said you needed my help. Situation is delicate. Who's this seedy little bloke? He has a very familiar face. I don't know who he is though, the actor. Hey, detective. They made us do it! We were afraid for our lives! I can't wait for JCS, the criminology channel on YouTube, to cover that interaction right there. The one that you got in there now is some sort of Nazi, right? 
So we were actually kind of doing you a favor with one less of them out in the world, you know? So maybe we shouldn't be in that much trouble, really. The bloody discount Batman helmet he's got rocking on. Does that make sense? Nah, but it's a cool helmet. What's the new helmet for? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yes! Let him have a chainsaw, please! I can't hear you! This thing's so fucking loud! Huh? What? We don't even know that there are butterflies in there. Oh, fuck! I'm never ever gonna kill someone with a fucking chainsaw! So not fair! Calm down, Leatherface. You'll get your opportunity. You're definitely gonna be chill. Fucking chill, dude. Jesus, relax. How you doing? Okay, how are you? Oh! Dude, you were meant to be chill. That's not chill. You just blew this fucking Susan's head off. X-ray vision. You can see in their brains. Uh, the place is crawling with butterflies. Fuck, man. Imagine going to your 9 to 5, just reception admin lady. 4 p.m., knockoff times in an hour, and you get your head blown off by John Cena. She was probably looking forward to going back to the zoo with all her other butterfly friends in the butterfly sanctuary. You're just like, fuck admin work. Bang. That shit they eat. There's literally a thousand boxes of it in here. Honey, honey, honey. Must be yummy. In a <laughs> That's what would happen if Abba got infiltrated by butterflies. I, I want x-ray vision. The way they're distributing all the honey, I'm surprised you don't have Winnie the Pooh working there. Oh, okay. Those are some angry butterflies. At least they're wearing hard hats. That's very important when you want to bang your head against metal. Is that like a Borderlands gun or something? Because it fires like eight different shots. Who's Charlie? Oh, God, he an angel. Looks like he's been slacking. <laughs> Your one-liners are brutal, man. Not as brutal as the headshots, though. You're the guardian angel? All right, why don't you fly away from this one, bitch? Is that a fucking gorilla? What was that? That was not a gorilla, right? How many people does this blow up? I don't know. I invented it this morning. All right, what's the one-liner? What's the one-liner? Eat peace, motherfucker. Okay. All right, that one works. Eat piece of cake? That's what I would do. Is it a gorilla? Oh my god, it is! Fuck, oh. Fuck me! Oh. Is this like Harambe's redemption arc or something? He's gonna fuck that kid up? Oh my god, it's the gorilla from the news story from the previous episode. I've just clicked. Is it Gorilla Grodd? Vigilante's gonna be so jealous you got to use the chainsaw. Was that a random gorilla or was that like Gorilla Grodd and they just threw him away like that and killed him? We love quality bonding over a dead gorilla we killed with a chainsaw and humans we killed with a nuclear bomb. Not bad. I mean, if there's any time to crush on John Cena, it's when he's covered in gorilla fucking blood and guts. I didn't do it, you fucking know it! He's just told he's not getting out of jail. Then got his fingerprint results back from the lab. They matched the prints of the crime scene. What? How? Where's Captain Mealy? Oh no, it's this bloke. Captain Locke. All right, uh, okay, I'm sure you're not up to speed on what's been happening. Oh, I'm pretty much up to speed. I'm scared of this guy. <laughs> He's scary. Two witnesses admitted that they were lying and they identified Christopher Smith. August Smith controls the Aryan Empire. He strikes me as one of those uptight gals who pushes herself too hard to mm. prove the men don't have a- I don't like Captain Locke. He's scaring me. He seems really unhinged. Because Mern's a butterfly, does that mean the Captain Locke guy is a butterfly too? Or they help each other. Oh, I'm confused. We defeated a gorilla! 
we pulled the butterfly out of its brain. Last time I fought a gorilla was a Burning Man four years ago. This was significantly weaker. Can you elaborate on why you fought a gorilla at Burning Man and how that even happened? Importantly, we want to see if we can trace where the raw amber fluid originally came from. What? Wait, why is he trying to defeat the butterflies if he's one of them? I know this judge. We can trust him. And what's his name? It's Judy. Judge Judy? Judge Judy. <laughs> <What's his name? laughs> Hey, sweetie. You ever heard of a guy named Peacemaker? He doesn't really look like a judge to me. Maybe you have to put the little white wig on and it would look better. Is that a reference to Aquaman? Also, where's the TikTok links, boys? We sharing TikToks in this group chat? I'm not gonna grab a drink. What do you mean? Are you gonna try to fuck me by claiming your dick's a lesbian or some shit? Dude. What the fuck? Has anyone ever claimed their dick was a lesbian so they could have sex with a lesbian person? My dick is lesbian, by the way. No, that's a poster. Kite Man? Is that a real person? I'm not all over DC the way I am with Marvel, but is Kite Man a real hero? Train. What the fuck does that character do? Jim Fly kites? Is he a kite? Is he a mutant kite thing? Oh, oh, what's rude as you give me a feces drink? Oh! <laughs> Swallow it, bitch. Swallow it, man. Yum. That was not yum. She digs me. She called me handsome. She also told you to leave her alone and not stalk her. Tell me the context. Just because you're handsome. Doesn't mean I want to fuck you, was what she said, I believe. Just because you're handsome, you think you can do whatever you want, even though you're a piece of shit murderer. I misquoted. It happens. Maybe she'll come around. Maybe she will come around, but not to Peacemaker's place. <laughs> What's that weird plate like thing in the background? It looks like it has like planets around it. Oh, you're gonna take a that is a loud piss. I know you have a big dick, but big piss noise too? I'm really worried for Leota here. Is she gonna be in a car crash or something? The framing of this is just not, normally there's a car that like comes up on the side and what whack. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, okay. No car crash then. Why are you here? Couldn't sleep. Is that the x-ray helmet? Don't put that on, you'll see the butterfly man's head. Oh my God. Oh, this isn't gonna go well at all. Fuck. Take it off. Take it off. Whoa. That would be pretty cool. Imagine you're a doctor and you had x-ray vision. That would be the best thing in the world for your profession. You gotta check him. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. You can't end it like that. Even though she had x-ray vision, she couldn't see that coming. <laughs> Mario, Super Mario, fucking Luigi. Mario and Super Mario are the same person. Rover, Snuffleupagus, Burger King, Grimace. Did they just point a camera at John Cena and just say, list every name that comes to your head? Ice T, Ice Cube, Vanilla Ice. Yeah, they totally did. But I would never put Ariana Grande in there. She looks too innocent. Fucking true. Me and Diebeard are the same guy. We even have the same fucking face hair. I don't want to talk about it. All right, so that was episode five of Peacemaker. I'm already invested, so we're going to watch episode six right now. I'll see you all in like two seconds. 30 seconds long. Yes, this is 30 seconds long. All right, Peacemaker episode six time. I'm not going to hurt you. Maybe he's a good butterfly man. Hardcore. She knows. Around oh my god! I didn't even know there could be good and bad butterflies. <laughs> what the hell? We need to talk. Yeah, we do. My people came to Earth because our planet was dying. Your people? The butterflies. You mean my fellow insect brethrens? She had a vagina. Aliens got vaginas. Oh, I don't want to think about E.T.'s pussy. What was her real name? You can't pronounce it with a human tongue. Try me. Ick, stack, ick, ick. Ick, stack, ick, ick. There, bang, did it. You took over someone. And every day I dread waking up to his memories. At least DC did like the someone else in someone else's body properly this time. Not in like Wonder Woman 84 where Steve Trevor just hijacked some random dude's body and then had sex in it. What the fuck? We need to be sure they don't move the cow before we find it. The cow. Yes. Like a cow that eats grass. Uh, you misspelled burn? Good. Oh God, where is John Cena now? Oh no, not a school. Any questions? Kid with the sad eyes. Do you know Superman? That's right. 
Wouldn't he have crashed anyway due to gravity? Remember, you can't kill children. No. Do you have a coterie of supervillains? No. <laughs> that must be that old man's grandkid. Have you ever met the Flash? I've met the Flash. Have you met Wonder Woman? She did spend an entire party IFing me from across the room. No, she didn't. I can see right through you. And I think you're a loser. Well, you little freak. I'm wearing an x-ray helmet, so I can actually see through you. Jamil's kid. Do you have an origin story? Orange? Oh, I don't eat that. Origin story. Oh. I haven't seen her in like 10 years. You might be my real dad. What? <laughs> If that's his kid, he's not called Peacemaker anymore. He's called Baby Maker. Whoa, those are some guns. Guy's a veterinarian. He's got like a sick Was that Harley deal. Quinn? That was not Harley Quinn. <laughs> I thought that was Harley Quinn in the background. Ching Chong, chickadee chopsticks. <laughs> that means my haircut looks like a donkey took a shit on my head. <laughs> I'm glad that she's fucking punching back. Go you. I've got no idea what you're fucking with here. Something wrong with that guy. Yeah, he's an insect fella. I don't think the butterflies are that dangerous, even though, like, in the second episode, they showed, like, a radar of them all everywhere. We've only seen, like, three. So they're not really everywhere, are they? And then I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. What's that? Kill my fucking son. Mmm. How is that dog weighing out its stomach? Oh, it was the angle the camera was on. <laughs> It was coming out of his stomach. It's got to be the raw ember fluid that they're processing, right? Well, it's definitely not chocolate milk, is it? God, Kia is so annoying. More like, see you later. How did you know it was me? You knock in a very annoying way. Oh. I knock on doors in a weird way too. I don't do the... I do this. Just one. <laughs> so then the person's like, did I just hear a knock? And you don't do another one. What is Goff doing? Is he writing a message? Peace! Okay, Goff. One tap is yes. Two taps is no. Don't tap on the glass. Have you ever been around a fish tank? It like makes them death. Is that a peace sign? I would shit myself if an insect communicated with me like that. I'd go, oh, oh, I did it! Sentient bugs! I'm getting this weird feeling that you're angry. Ah! <laughs> I was gonna say me too and then he started yelling in my ears. Are the butterflies here to eat our flesh like the aliens from Pitch Black? No. Are you here to put babies in us like an alien? No. You're upset about that? Well, how else am I gonna experience motherhood? Oh. Hmm. Mm. Are you here so we can help you get back home like an E.T.? No. Ask the bug, are you a villain? Or... Are you really a butterfly? If you're at home, get the fuck out. The police are gonna be there any second with an arrest warrant. Get out and grab the butterfly. Open the door and come out with your hands up now. I repeat, come out now with your hands up. I'm taping off to me so I have both hands free. Dude, get out. <laughs> oh God, they're gonna find the fleshlight. Oh no. That's worse than finding the fleshlight. Fuck. Oh no. You're in trouble. It's probably got all the girls he's had crushes on during high school in there too. You are screwed. Eagle. Eagle. Is Eagly just a version of Milo that's a bird? Last night, he was playing with a matchstick. Doesn't even know how to light them. Idiot. His toe! Thank God he got his pinky toe half cut off and not his big toe, otherwise he would have fallen off the tree. <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh shit, that is not good. I thought the butterflies were good! It was so cute until it entered my orifices. Yeah, but it looked really cool, so I'm glad he did it. Eagly is fucking mental. Wait, what? Who are you? Do you want to ask stupid questions? Or do you want to live? Live. And then ask questions. Don't. No, please. No. <laughs> the way he was mimicking her. Stop. We can track these things. No, 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 shit, fuck! 
You idiot! That was a burner phone! You're welcome, Vigilante, for saving my life. It was a secure phone! No, <laughs> it was! Sorry, 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 Eagly. John Cena also hadn't done his Snapchat streaks, man. I believe he was running out of time with Mark Henry or something. Give me your phone. They could be here any minute. Mine isn't secure. I don't give a fuck. Please go into his search history. Please. Taylor Swift's sexy butt. <laughs> That's um just because I wanted to see some pictures of her sexy butt. Why Taylor Swift out of all people as well? She's the most mid-tier celebrity you can have. If she found out you were looking up her sexy butt pictures, you would have a song written about you. What happened? He just ran off saying, rubble, rubble. What's the... Person inspect a gadget? Block was just describing the fucking Hamburglar. McDonald's mascot? Yeah. Given the scenario, that is a little bit grim. Yes. Hey, so you need to lie down. You had a concussion. I'm fine, human. Further investigate that, especially because she just called you human. Uh, no, I'm not a human. I'm a police officer. I just glanced at it. There's some real crazy shit in there. I'll put that into evidence. Is it bad that I, like, low-key want to read Peacemaker's diary does he have dreams in there aspirations goals at least once a week feed eagly premium eagle food hey you have a diary no they found one in your trailer bullshit i got sticky notes bitch god damn it peacemaker don't you talk to me after you send pennywise the fucking clown out to help us that is a great comparison i can see bill skarsgård there i think i know where the raw amber fluid is coming from my ball sack so if those aren't even words are you fucking Keanu Reeves? That's the Matrix there. People don't realize that smiling is different on every single head. Every time you have to relearn it. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That actually gave me goosebumps. So Captain Locke is actually working with Peacemaker and the team. So he's not a bad guy. That's a relief because he looks like a creep. A ranch. I'm guessing this barn is where all the amber fluid's coming from. Nah, mate. That's Herschel's farm. That's <laughs> Look! Which one's me and which one's Eagly? I'm not sure. I think the one on the left is you, Vigilante, with the white head. The butterflies have a cow. A cow? A large animal that they milk for amber goo. I swear to God, if it's a literal cow, I'm done. Project Starfish? Starfish. Project Butterfly? Literally a butterfly. Cow? It's gonna be a fucking cow, isn't it? Believe it, the break of dawn for Coverdale Ranch to kill the cow. And then make some delicious, nice beef burgers. Are you sure about that? What the fuck? Are they all the little alien ships? Oh no. All little waffle makers. <laughs> Oh, I uh, didn't need a close up actually. Uh, they looked cute at the beginning. My my oh my god, dude, come on, you're like 50, 60 years old, man. Grow up. <laughs> I don't like that at all. There is a lot of them. So, Goff is like the alpha male female butterfly, and he's just a racist. Dude, really? This motherfucker needs to die. Oh my god. Run! Get the bug spray! Get the bug zappers! Get the fucking tennis rackets! Oh, I'd be squeezing my butthole so tight right now. Ew. I hate that. Yuck. Well, that butterfly definitely entered his asshole because there was none in his mouth. Yo, this scene is disturbing as fuck, but this song fucking goes hard. I'm adding this song to my Spotify, absolutely. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about the prisoners. Is that Michael Keaton on the far right? Yo, that's discount Michael Keaton. Look, I know he's a racist and everything, but that suit is fucking sick. That scene, the music, everything, that was awesome. That was like perfect. You were right. <laughs> And just got too wrapped up. And now we're back here at the relationship. <laughs> Ooh, for a second, I thought I shot a butterfly out my nose, but it was just a booger. <laughs> Aw, Harcourt's like drawing. It's not drawing. A little dove on a gun. Relationship goals. You know what this show is missing? A massive sentient shark voiced by Sylvester Stallone. Amelia. 
Amelia Harcourt. I really, really dig that name. It's the perfect name for someone working in this field. What, are you gonna fuck a piano? Is that really him playing that? I actually think that's really him playing that. That's incredible. Dude, I thought you said you didn't write a diary. Written by the suspect. Not a diary. Oh shit. That's right. He has the diary. And now he's a butterfly guy. Find and stop the peacemaker by whatever means necessary. What the fuck? Right? So this is a Justice League level event. So where's Superman? Where's Batman? Where's fucking fish fucker Aquaman at? You have butterflies taking all over- Where's the Suicide Squad, actually? You have butterflies taking over everyone in the world or whatever. This isn't just a peacemaker job anymore. This is- We need the whole team. That's the most problematic thing about trying to make a cinematic universe though, is if there is a big threat, it's like, well, where are the other people that would help out realistically with that threat. Where the fuck are all the pest control companies? They would be booming in business right about now. Sad. Look sad. Look sad. Fucking ass. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy a lot. I don't know who he is, but I like him. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Shh, shh. All right, come on, man. You got this. <laughs> Dude! Oh, look at you. Alright, so that was Peacemaker episode 6. I'm digging this series. I wish I'd watched it sooner. I have two episodes left and chances are I'll probably watch them tomorrow. I don't know how long this video is going to be, so it could just end, like, really abruptly.